Hi! In the next few minutes, we'll take a look at some of the highlights in the latest UFT Mobile release. First up, the revamped device access window. When you open a lab device remotely, the revamped device window provides improved functionality and it's more convenient to interact with the device. Select an action in the toolbar or use the options in the panels on the left and right hand side of the device access window. You can collapse the panels, change the order of the panel tabs and drag and drop tabs from one panel to another. Exploratory testing is now included in the side panel and you start recording sessions by clicking the record button in the panel. With the new accessibility inspector in the device access window, you can now verify that voiceover and talkback users can conveniently use your app. The talkback voiceover descriptions for each accessibility element are displayed as text together with the available attributes for the element. Moving on to app packaging. In this release, the UFT mobile server comes with a built-in iOS packaging service that you can configure in the administration settings. Signing assets for the embedded packager are also managed here. When you upload a certificate and provisioning profile to the primary service, the agent apps are automatically signed with the uploaded assets. And now to some additional updates. You can connect Harmony OS 2 devices to the lab and test your Android apps on them. The embedded Appium version was updated to version 1.22. This release includes support for CentOS and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.9 and 8.4 for the UFT mobile server and connectors. Signing and connector machines now support MacOS Big Sur and Monterey. Check out the Help Center to learn more and enjoy the new UFT mobile release.